Sure. When we, when we begin to bridge the principles of science and spirituality and look for concrete applications in the real world, bring peace to the world, bring unity to nations, uh, bring love to our communities, how, how do we go about doing that? And this is, uh, again, this is one of those places where many of the, the principles come together in, in such a beautiful way. When we begin, there was a thinking at one time that we had to have a great majority of people to create an effect. And the TM people actually did experiments back in the 70s and created a formula, saying it was the square root of 1% of a given population feeling peace or experiencing transcendental meditation to create peace in the community. It was effective. The problem was that when they stopped the meditation, all of the crime, all of the traffic accidents, emergency hospital room visits, they all went back to, to what they were before the, the meditation began. What the science now is showing, it's less about the number of people and it's more about the quality of peace. The scientific word that we're really looking at is coherence. What we're looking for is the coherence within our bodies so that our bodies can give the field coherence to work with. Coherence between the heart and the brain. And there are very precise practices of breath and focus uh, and uh, focus in the body, focusing on the human heart. 1991, 40,000 specialized cells were discovered in the human heart. They're neurons like we have in the brain, but they think, feel, and remember independently of the human brain. When we harmonize those neurons in the heart with the neurons in the brain through breath, feeling, and focus, we create a coherence within our bodies that's not limited to our bodies. It extends into the field that surrounds us. And if we really really want to participate and bring peace uh, to our families, to our workplace, uh, into our community, even between nations, we have to ask ourselves every day, what am I feeding, what am I feeding the field? When, when we see a world in chaos, do we respond in kind with chaos, with anger and with hate? And I understand how that is very easy to fall into because we all do that. Now the science is showing us is when we respond that way, we're actually feeding the field the very chaos that we're hoping to transcend. So when we can create the chaos uh, or the, the, the coherence within our bodies, by doing so, we're feeding that field uh, the, the conditions that allow us to transcend that hate. And it doesn't take many people to create coherence uh, in, in their bodies for that coherence to be reflected in, in the field as well.